السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته جود مورنينج جود افترنون جود ايفنينج ايفري وان واتشينج مي توداي توداي از ذا 17th اوف جانوري ات از ذا 35th انيفرساري اوف اسلاميك ليف وير ات ستارتد هير 35 ييرز اجو ذا ايديا ستارتد افتر ذا فامين ان افريكا ان اريتريا ان تيغراي ان 1983 وير فاوند ذير از نو Muslim organization, not only in UK, but in the West, can respond to such problem. First donation came to from me is 20 pence from a young child at the age of nine years, one of my cousins. And we raised, after my visit to Sudan, about 1,500 Egyptian pounds. Then we came here to start the work. I was going around to find somebody to help me. In helping the refugees in Africa, nobody wants, apart from one individual, his name is Dr. Ahsan, was doing his PhD in chemistry with me in Birmingham University. We came here to this community center, which in Mosley Road, in Birmingham, uh, 17 uh, January, Tuesday, 1984. We did not have any resources, any money, any office, any uh, superstar, any of the big any which uh, to let the young people who believe now that they cannot start anything unless they have everything. They cannot start anything unless they have everything. This is wrong. This is absolutely wrong. And those youngsters, I call them banana skin brothers and sisters. You don't start anything unless they have everything, it doesn't work. We started here, alhamdulillah, and we did not have an office, as I said many times before. We only bought three or four donation boxes. One was put here on this wall, 1984. One was put here as well. One was what here in the, at the back, inshallah, at the back, and one was what at the back room. In 85, we wanted to have a space, private space, so we came to the manager of the place, and he gave us an answer machine to be bought next to the telephone, next to the telephone, next to the telephone in this room. The desk was in this area, and we bought the answer machine, then he gave us actually a cabinet to put our filing, to file our, uh, to file our files in this cabinet. This was in 1985. Actually, thank you to the brother who was actually sitting on the desk at that time uh, and to start with no resources. Youngsters nowadays believe that they have everything before they do anything and they, I call them banana skin brothers and sisters. Okay? No laughs. <laughs> then 1986, I think, we came to the headquarter. Now we are going to the headquarter. Fun hundreds and thousands of A staff are sitting in this room. This was our headquarter after two years of continuous work, of continuous work, of dedicated, committed from all the volunteers. This room was the beginning of the foundation of an organization which becomes global nowadays. The desk was here for the manager of the room. And 1986, somebody donated to us a computer called 286. It was like a dinosaur. If you compare such a computer with the iPad, with the laptop, with all these sort of things. We used to be very happy of having looking at this computer and whenever any donor coming to get five pounds, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 50 pounds, so said, we have a computer to do. And we have a telephone as well. I can't remember the number of the telephone. But this room also was like the beehive with all the bees coming to do the voluntary work, to put the ideas on the table, to give the donation, and to get me motivated. And I had two volunteers who came to work for us. 
One of them was Khalid. The other one was uh, Fadi. And you know what they were doing? There was no time limit for them. For, I'm talking to the people who think that they are volunteers. Those volunteers have no time huh, to do something else apart from the voluntary work. And this was their bed. They used to bring their sleeping bag when they finish 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock in the evening. They sleep here and they go to use the facilities in the center. At that time, the main people who created this organization were the youngsters. The youngsters at the secondary school, the youngsters from the universities, the youngsters from everywhere, different backgrounds, different backgrounds, different backgrounds. We were depending totally on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then on the contribution of the youngster, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 years old. And so some postgraduate students as well from different Islamic society in different universities. This was after two years. So youngsters, if you come and tell me, if I don't have everything, I do nothing, I tell you, you are a banana skin. You are a waste of time. We don't need such an individual like this. If you have nothing, you can do everything. And this is what we believed 35 years ago. If you believe in your idea, if you are committed to it, if you nurture it, if you protect it, you can see its fruit after years. No tree will bear its fruit from the time you put the seed on the soil. No mother will have the baby out and born and going to the university after the wedding night. No way. Let us go and see something else after we develop the beginning of the organization. So the beginning, as I said, was the 20 pence from the young boy. Then from this room, we managed to climb the stairs to claim another room upstairs. The other room uh, is, was supposed to be the uh, headquarter, the bigger headquarter. And we make this one to be the reception area for the people who come to pay the money for uh, Islamic relief at that time. So Islamic relief at the time was just a paper organization, but it was a heart-driven organization. It was a needs-driven organization. It was a vision-driven organization. It was commitment-driven organization. It was dedication-driven organization. Not like many paper organizations nowadays who do not have the heart, the dedication, the commitment, and the vision. We took this room in 1987, something like that, if I can if I remember the history rightly. And in this room, you know what happened? Alhamdulillah, we have, a, we have what? We have a fax machine in this area. And we are very happy to have a fax machine because before that, we used to have somebody called Ahmed and Sons in Lady Poor Road used to use his telex machine to send all the Qurbani, the names of the people who pay the money for the Qurbani because we have to send the names before the fatwa came out. From uh, Imam uh, uh, from Saudi Arabia, Al-Baz. Uh, what's his name? Abdelaziz Al-Baz, rahmatullah alayhi. That you can make an intention for everybody donated. And from Ahmed and Son, Telix, to the, the fax here, to the desk here, to sit down after four years. When we look at the process of the first four years, it was legging, legging, walking, knocking the doors of houses, knocking the doors and distributing the leaflets into shops, mosques, community centers, markets, everywhere, four or five years. And from such a room, we started to look at the world map. Where are we going to open offices, actually, in different parts of the world? This was with the spirit of the young people who surrounded us at that time. This room that we are going to enter now, a bigger hall, this is where we have all the youngsters, the volunteers, real volunteers. We used to be in this room till about midnight. 
The only thing we used to eat here is water and chips. Sometimes and occasionally we get half a fish or we get half a kebab to the youngsters. The main aim was to deliver, was to act, was to stand for the needs of the needy, not to ask for salaries, not to ask for Instagram, not to ask for selfie, not to ask for face posts. I mean, there was nothing, not even camera. Because this area was not one of the richest areas in Birmingham, it's one of the poorest areas in Birmingham. People from different places, from different backgrounds, different Arab backgrounds, different Arabic countries, Pakistan, and then Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, Malaysia, and, 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 contributed to the creation, contributed to the plantation, contributed to the existence, contributed to the protection, and contributed to the nourishment. If you become, if you become people's man, people will surround about you. If you become family man, only your family will be around you. If you become political man, only your political party will be around you. If you become Hizb man, your Hizb or your, or your Mazhab, all the people will surround out. But be, be youngster, people's man. Let us go downstairs again to see the, the, the process and of this journey of the last 35 years. Of the last 35 years. Let me switch the light off to save uh, charity money. And we'll go downstairs in darkness. And so to save money. And this, another room. We need, no, no, it's not. Because that's fine. Why I'm going downstairs? Because I'm going to the real headquarters to show the young people, to show those people who are frustrated, those people who are armchair warriors, those people who are hot-headed, those people who are actually uh, depressed, or, or, or those people who are actually pushed to, pushing themselves to a corner, those people who do not believe in themselves, those people that believe that they cannot do anything unless they have everything. That's why I call them banana skin brothers and sisters. This was the headquarters after two or three years. And even we did not pay money for it. It was given to us as donation. So when we come back, why I'm standing here? I'm standing here to deliver a message. A message to youngsters whom when they see Syria, when they see Myanmar and Rohingya, when they see uh, uh, Turkestan or Xinjiang in China, Uyghur, when they see Central African Republic, when they see what's happening in Yemen, what happened in Iraq before, and what's happening in Palestine, in Gaza, what's happening in Eritrea, what's happening in West Africa, What's happening in Sub-Saharan Africa? When they see this, don't be depressed. Know that your seed that you plant on the soil or in the soil of the fertile land will be not only a fruitful tree, will be a jungle, will be forest, will be forests like the Amazon, like the Bay of Bengal, like, 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 like. But after what? After years and years and years of hard work, nothing will be happening because I took an Instagram. Thank you for taking the Instagram. But what's next? Next is back-breaking work. Next is dedication, commitment. Next is belief. Next is inspiration. Next is your patience and perseverance to get your fruit and to throw the seeds of your fruit into different fertile lands. We had a dream one day and somebody told me, when will you be coming? Wish to like be United Nations. I said, no, I don't, we don't want to become like United Nations. Because United Nations government organization, we want to be ahead of the family of the Red Cross and Red Crescent movement. Because this is a social movement. This is a humanitarian movement, and this is a real movement to move. The, this is people's movement. So when I talk to you youngsters, if we did not depend on two 
factors. First is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then, second or third, youth like yourself. Youth like yourself. We are being created here in a non-Muslim country. Allowed any pioneer, allowed any worker to excel in his or her work. Don't put yourself in a ghetto. The ghetto of your culture, the ghetto of your background, the ghetto of your fiqh, school of thoughts, the ghetto of your madhab, and the ghetto of your teaching of your jama'ah, or the ghetto of your political ground, wrong. Get out. Get yourself out to the main road, to the main highway. Because if you are on the highway, you can drive the masses to follow you. But if you are in your ghetto, you will divide the people in your ghetto around your different schools of thoughts. We celebrate today, but I want you to celebrate tomorrow, celebrate next year, celebrate next century. The future is for you. If you manage to see the growth of this organization over the last 35 years and was still alive, you, I mean you, young girl, and you, young man, need to see it going on and on and on and on in your area over the coming 35 years. So I challenge myself and each one of you that we can meet in 2054, inshallah, in this place with what you have achieved. Don't come and tell me that the Prophet وسلم, and the Prophets السلام, and those people, great people have done. I said, okay, this is history. They have done, but what have you do? What are you doing? At what have you been doing? At what will you be doing for humanity, for community, for society, for your family, for your neighborhood? This is the ask. The ask never become demotivated. The ask is never become withdrawn by the bad news, the false news, the news which is being driven by the lying news reporter. Never been driven by this. Driven by your heart, driven by your vision, driven by your belief, driven by the need of your community, driven by the need of humanity. When you look at the needs, tens of millions or hundreds of millions or billions of people are in need of your help. Don't put yourself in this depressing corner and say Allah is forgetting about me so I become atheist. Atheism is weakness in your character. Give me a lecture that you are atheist, good for you. But I gave you no lecture and I ask you to show what I have been doing actually with my community as an individual. What you have been doing, other youngsters have been doing with the community relying on Allah, the provider, then what ability he has given them. So your depressing uh, attitude should not be put on the table. You want to join? Join. And you will be able to change the face of humanity. And this is what you need to understand. We thank everybody who joined us in this journey of the last 35 years. And we thank you of listening today. And we'll thank you when you come after 35 years and meet me and tell me what you have achieved. If I'm not here, meet anybody else and tell them what you have achieved. If not meeting anybody else, meet Allah, meet his angels and put your financial report, your audited report of the social work that you have contributed to your community and your society. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. See you next week, inshallah.